Hi everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars 2 Knights of the Old Republic. So, we need to find our ship and get out of here. Why have you approached me? I am looking for a fight, but we'll come back because I suspect she'll kick our ass. Ass. You may ask... The mistress? What of her? She leads us. As she rebuilds Telos, she rebuilds the Order, and through them, the galaxy. We serve the Jedi. We do not question them. Yet, Atris has told us that the work here at Telos may pay for similar efforts in many worlds along the Rim that were destroyed when the Jedi turned on each other. She has said the Jedi Order needs such a foundation if it is to rebuild. She faults the teaching of many of the Jedi Masters as the spark of the Jedi Civil War. Atris has said that if Revan and Malak had been properly instructed in the ways of the Jedi, they never would have fallen, and nor would you, Exile. That is unknown to me. I have never observed Atris to teach Jedi, nor would I wish to. Atris has chosen instead to focus her efforts on galactic recovery. Once the galaxy breathes again, disciples will come. Yeah, I don't have... I'm not a big fan, but I'm not going to insult her to her follower. You may ask. We share the same father, and we all bear the face of our mother. It is not unusual for the Achani of the same parents to be born so as to be indistinguishable to outsiders. As I have said, it is not unusual for the Achani of the same parents to be born so as to be indistinguishable to outsiders. If you seek to raise anger in me, you will fail, Exile. I tolerate your presence only upon orders of the Mistress. She did not order me to endure your questions. One cannot take back an action and often apologizing for it only compounds the insult. Simply drop the matter and be silent. So this is a pretty fucked up place, I guess. Be, you know, it's pretty weird that all the sisters look together and live together. You may ask. We serve the Jedi, and we watch. Atris is the only Jedi here, this is true, but the Mistress will bring others in time. You are no Jedi. Atris has made that clear. When you went to war, you gave up the mantle of the Jedi and became something else. I assume you meant no insult. It is forbidden for us to become Jedi. Even if we possessed the awareness of the galaxy that the Jedi possess, we are here because we are not Jedi. That is our purpose. We have taken an oath to never follow the teachings of the Jedi, only to watch those of the Order and carry out Atris's will should it be necessary. Atris believes the new Jedi Order that shall arise here will need to be guarded and watched by those not touched by the Force. She thinks it will give balance. Basically just keeping them all oppressed so that they can't rise up and uh, attack her, I guess. Atris is the one we serve, and she guides our actions. You... This was once a mighty irrigation center for Telos. It survived the orbital bombardment of the Sith, though the inhabitants did not. Ancient irrigation channels still lie beneath the surface of Telos, waiting to be used again for the reconstruction efforts controlled from this facility. Yeah, I don't like this place. I'd happily raise it to the ground. I'm guessing I get the same Why options you... from all of them, do I? Your ship is stored in the hangar. Atris has given you permission to leave this place and not to return. You will find them in the main irrigation channel room, in the northern part of the plateau interior. The particle emitters there that once governed the flow of water to Telos can double as force cages. It is not part of my duties 
free them yourself. Then you must leave this place. Let's get my um, buddies back and then we'll try and wipe these guys out. They were caged for their safety until we could determine your intent, Exile. Atris cautioned us against your tactics, fearing that your allies would create a distraction. Your companions gave us little trouble, however. The male could have presented some challenge if he had resisted, but he chose not to. He has had some Ichani training. He masks it well, but when you are in danger, his mask dropped into a stance we know well. I do not know. The Ichani forms are known to be taught to military special forces throughout the galaxy. If the source is a mystery to you, perhaps you should ask him. It would be wise to know those you travel with. Yeah, no, I don't like this place, and I don't like these people. If they're trying to get back the Jedi Council, it can't be good for me. I bet the TSF don't even know about this. Well, they can't do what they know on the ship once, wouldn't they? Me? So they've been fucking around with my robot as well. Right, I'm gonna fuck these guys up now. They're messing with my robot. Raise this place to the ground and everyone in it. Fucking around with my robot is just going too far. I'm arresting my allies and putting them in prison and interrogating me. I mean, she's not the fucking police. I don't know who she thinks she is. If she was the police, then, well, we don't like the police. Yes, that's definitely uh, one of the biggest problems with the Jedi is they think they're the police and they've got no mandate to govern me. Did you find what you came for? Well, I've got good wisdom, so let's go for the wisdom option. There was something from your past here, something unresolved. I feel we did not come to this place by chance. You were led here. This woman who resides here, she did something to you once, something that hangs upon you still. Ah, so she uh, wants me out of the, the Jedi Council more than anyone else, did she? Yeah, we may have to kill her. Ah, killing such a one could prove difficult and unwise. Yet, she distracts you, that is clear, and that may be reason enough. Such distractions could prove fatal against the enemies we face. Yeah, I don't think we can fight her in combat, but I want my sword back as well. Direct action is not always the best way. It is a far greater victory to make another see through your eyes than to close theirs forever. Yet all that lives feels, and where something feels, there is weakness. Why you, of course. You are the gravity around which all her actions rotate. You exert a stronger influence than you know. Be her foil, her challenge, and eventually she will see things your way. Oh, yes. 
natural leaders do such things to followers, whether they be simple criminals or old women such as myself. Very well, let us depart. <sighs> He's only sleeping. It seems the journey here has fatigued him. Oh, bollocks. He's such a good liar, though. I'll go along with it. Oh, well, I've got... Oh, maybe because I said I wanted to kill her, I guess. I'm sorry, General. I must have lost consciousness in the crash. I'm fine, General. Even power has been restored to my arm. What is this place? Where are we? This must be where I had detected the energy readings before, and the drain to the restoration shields. This room, this place, it looks part of a huge polar irrigation system, possibly planet-wide, like the one on Coruscant. I had been told by the Republic that it was not in use. Don't trust anything that the Republic tell you. I am, General. If you wish, I'm... Very well, General. Mistress, you summoned me. I have a task for you. The Exile is dangerous. I'm concerned that he was able to return to Republic space and reach Telos without my knowledge. Mistress, the Harbinger was lost in transit. It was our failing. What is done is done. But now I need you to travel with him. Mistress, I realize what I'm asking of you. And I'm asking that you keep your purpose a secret, even from your sisters. I need someone to watch the Exile closely and let me know if he contacts the Sith. More importantly, I need you to study him closely. I need to know what he thinks, what he does. Become part of his group. Earn his trust. Get him to confide in you. I will do as you ask, mistress. But mistress, the exile did not seem to pose a threat to us. Ah, but he does. Do not be fooled by the exterior. It is his nature you must beware. He fell to the dark side once. He will do so again. I am trusting you with this task, last of my handmaidens. Do not disappoint me. The galaxy, the Jedi, may depend on it. I like how everything is so grey and it's, we don't really know who anyone is. I, normally everyone's a goodie and then at some point someone turns on you in an RPG, so... This is definitely different, right? Let's go see if I can kill her. Right, I don't know who to start a fight with, really. Is this the one that you wants to come the with exile, me? the exile, the one Atris warned us about. She said, you betrayed the Jedi by going to war when it was forbidden to you. You turned on your masters, your teachings, and yourself. Ah, so I think what uh, Kree was alluding to is if I can convert this woman to really be on my side, um, and, and believe in with me, it will convert the uh, Atris. So we need to convert this woman to our side. But I'll never really know who she is because she's been commanded to pretend she's on our side. That is not all she says. She says you know nothing of loyalty to any cause except your own animal instincts. And she told us why you fell to the dark side. What? What dark side? Or maybe, yeah, let's go, why was that then? Atris says that you fell to the dark side in the Mandalorian Wars when you gave in to your lust for battle. Once you tasted war, you could not give it up.
Yeah, that's, that doesn't make sense. So why didn't I keep fighting in the Jedi Civil War then? Atris says, when the Dark Lord Revan returned to the Republic, you did not march with him because you had fallen so far, you could no longer feel the Force. That's not true. She cut my Force powers off. I believe that is the extent of her expressed feelings toward you. There are variations at times, but all rise from the same foundation. Yes, it is difficult sometimes for others to truly speak their heart or listen to it. The words often prove difficult, or they do not come at all. Without having seen you and Atris fight, I cannot say. Battle is a pure form of expression. It is heart and discipline, reduced to movement and motion. Ah, so... That sounds like a good plan. Perhaps. It may prove truer than conversing with words. In battle, the words are swept away, giving way to actions. Mercy, sacrifice, anger, fear. These are pure moments of expression. You may ask. I honor the face of my mother. It is not something spoken of in the company of others. I do not wish to discuss it. There is no need to apologize. You were mere. It is not a sensitive subject, but a subject that requires trust. There is no such trust between you and I, and such trust takes time. You may ask. Before you go, Exile, question for you, if I may ask it. You have touched the Force. What does it feel like? Um... Uh, one of these two. I mean, if I go down what loss feels like, maybe I could say your mother took it away from me, but then she's probably still allied to her mother at this point, so... It's a difficult Please, thing to describe. I wish to know. So we need to try and pick a, a light side answer because she's been brainwashed by her mother. It is like a cloud, a mist that drifts from living creature to creature, set in motion by currents and eddies. It is the eye of the storm, the passions of all living things turned into energy, into a chorus. It is the rising swell at the end of life, the promise of new territories and new blood, the call of new mysteries in the dark. I see. Thank you both. I appreciate you sharing your knowledge with me. If we can convert her to, um, in, in, turn her into a Jedi, then that would be even better. Then she'd definitely uh, stop following her mother. And we could do with some more Jedis in our party. So I would rather convert her than kill her. And that's what Kraya advised us to do as well. Yeah? I have this open in no time. Child's play. I have this open in no time. Child's play. I was going to say that people don't mind you stealing, but then in Telos, in one of the apartments, I think someone did call us out on stealing, didn't they? I have this open in no time. Child's play. Right, let's convert this woman into uh, free will and anarchy. 
rather than the slavery and oppression that she puts on her slaves at the moment. thing what lies behind it did she perhaps it is a meditation chamber of some sort the construction of this door is like nothing I've seen on Telos and it is not the same as the rest of the facility here yes right so I can't um, get in there so I can't fight her. I wonder if maybe if I kill one of her underlings then she'll come out. You have ret I would welcome a chance to instruct you. I have been anxious to teach you many principles of combat ever since you invaded this place. Oh yes. We train extensively in various combat styles, and we have not had another target for some time. You may prove a pleasant diversion. Oh, that sounds all right. Very well. Follow me, and we shall see if you have the endurance to learn the most basic of our teachings. Before we begin, are you familiar with the Chani traditions? No. All duels between us shall be without armor of any kind. There shall be no restrictions upon our movements or upon yours. Your feet are not to leave the training mat during the battle. If they do, you will lose. Also, this is not a fight to the death. Restrain your instincts when we fight, and we shall do the same. So I can use the force, I'm guessing, then. The fight will be with hands and feet only. No stimulants, shields, weapons, or other items. Also, do not call upon any Jedi oh. techniques during our contest. If you do, then the battle will be over. In turn, I will not use our higher forms, for this is only an opening battle between us, a test of each other's strength. Well, I suspect I'm going to lose then. Then let us begin. Because I'm not allowed to use that. Okay, clearly, um, Flurry is not a good thing to go for. I won't bother with that. You have fallen. Seek one of us out. Have you returned to- Very well. It shall be- Then- I guess that's the downside of choosing a force power biased character is I can't use my force powers in this fight so I'm unfairly punished really I mean obviously I'm never going to win this am I I've got no strength you have fallen and it's based on strength isn't it the, it's the you have fallen well, that's bullshit. I want to fucking returned? slaughter them for that. Oh, that's shit. My character wouldn't stand for that. And I'm unequipped now, so that was a waste of time as well. Didn't I just save? Oh, for fuck's sake. This game is shit. I swear down I pressed the save button. And I wasn't there. Oh, you fucking piece of shit.
Did that save properly? Um, I've no idea. Let's load one, see what happens. Okay, well the good news is that um, he did actually save. Well, I have to say, it's just another example of why this, these developers don't deserve to get paid. Even though the story is progressing and the characters are, are developing really nicely, you know, how can you justify that? It's, it's just pathetic. So I'm going to call the episode here. Um, and maybe if I reload the game it'll start saving properly and I'll have more faith in it. So thank you for watching.